I'm just going to do two quick examples of converting um, time into seconds um, from hours, minutes and seconds into seconds and from seconds into hours, minutes and seconds. Um, one of the reasons why we look at time in this unit is because it's based on um, a base 60 place value system. So our system is a base 10 place value system and that means that every column across is worth 10 times as much. When we're working with time, <clears throat> if we consider a second to be our standard unit, then every column across is worth 60 times as much. So a minute is worth 60 seconds and an hour is worth 60 times 60 seconds or 3,600 seconds. <clears throat> so I just need to keep that in mind um, when I'm doing a conversion like this. So rather than convert um, these into these three hours into minutes and then into seconds, I can just convert them straight into seconds to begin with. So um, <clears throat> when I read a time like this, it's three hours, 21 minutes and 42 seconds. I just need to remember that the three hours means three lots of 3,600 seconds. The 21 minutes means 21 lots of 60 seconds and the 42 seconds represents 42 seconds. <coughs> so, um, in order to convert this into seconds, I can just work with, with each column. So I've got um, 3 times 3,600 and I might just, on this side, just write out multiples of 3,600 um, which we might use later. <coughs> so these are our first uh, three multiples of 3,600. <clears throat> um, so 3 times 3,600 gives me 1,000, sorry, 10,800. Um, I then want to convert the minutes into seconds, so that's 21 times 60, <clears throat> which um, will give me, if I do 2 times 60, um, it's 120, so 20 times 60 is 1,200, add an extra 60 on, Got 1200 plus 60. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to have my 42 as well. <clears throat> so I've lined these all up so that I can add them together. I'm going to have two seconds here, um, add the 60 and the 40, so it's going to give me a 0 and a 1 to carry across. Um, 1 to carry across, 2, and this would be my final answer. So I've got um, in 3 hours, 21 minutes and 42 seconds, I have 12,102 seconds. The next thing I'm going to do is go in the other direction. So I'm um, getting rid of this. <clears throat> and so say I had something like, uh, let's do... I have 9,982 seconds, and I want to convert this into hours, minutes, and seconds. And this is something that we might want to do uh, quite often because, um, you know, we understand things better if they're in hours, minutes, and seconds because that's what we're used to dealing with. <clears throat> so in this case, um, what I first want to do is look at the hours and essentially ask, well, how many hours is this here? So I want to say, well, this is 9,982 seconds. How much of that is hours? <clears throat> Sorry, I rubbed it off before, but um, since we know the first three multiples of the hours, we can see that 9,982 is not quite three hours worth, so it's only going to be two hours worth. <clears throat> so then I know that it's two hours, and that that's 7,200 of those seconds. So that gives me 9,982 minus 7,200. That gives me um, 2282 two, seconds that couldn't be converted into hours, and then I now need to convert into minutes. <clears throat> so my next question is how many minutes are there in 2,282 seconds? So whereas here, what I essentially did was say 9,982 divided by 3,600 equals 2 with a remainder of 2,282, 
And now I'm going to do this remainder, 2282 divided by 60, <coughs> to give me some amount of minutes, and then whatever's left over from that will be my number of seconds. And so um, I can do this as just quick uh, calculation. <coughs> so um, this is going to be if that. <coughs> so 2400 would represent um, my 40 times 60. <coughs> and then, so if I take uh, two lots off that, so minus 120, so that means 2,280 must be 38 times 60. <coughs> um, or of course, we could use a calculator, don't have to do it like that, I just uh, don't have a calculator on me, so trying to not have to redo this video. <coughs> um, so we see that this is going to give us, so this um, is, is pretty close to what we need. So 2,282 divided by 60 is going to give me 38, and then with just a remainder of 2 seconds. <coughs> so I divided 9,982, and I got that I have 2 hours, <coughs> um, and then I took the rest of those seconds and divided them into minutes, and I found that I had 38 minutes. And then finally, um, I had two seconds left over because this was just two seconds more than um, 38 times 60. And so I have two seconds left over, which I can do as a, put it in a zero like this as well. And if I wanted to check my answer, I could then um, do the process, the reverse process that I did before and multiply this by 3,600, multiply this by 60, and multiply this in order to come up with the final answer. Okay.